We recently got back from our trip to Arizona, and you guys know who lives in Arizona. That's right, Dublin. Welcome to this episode of Puppy and Training TV. So we hopped in the car and made the six hour trek to Arizona to play some hockey and meet up with some old friends. On the way to the game, we drove past this sign. Look who stopped by to see my hockey game, Dublin! We went to many hockey games together, so I guess the sights, smells, and sounds were old news to him. After the game, Liz, Dublin, and the rest of the gang headed out to meet up with me. We worked really hard teaching Dublin about stairs and different surfaces, and it looks like it paid off. I was so excited to see my pal again. I walked up and I was kind of wondering if Dublin would remember me. Yep, he remembered me. Look at that tail go. Kind of reminded me of graduation. I did my best not to encourage him and I let Liz calm him down before I gave him any attention. Actually, Dublin was so excited I decided to wait until he was out of harness and not working before giving him attention. Liz, Lance, and the kids invited us over to their home and I got to play with Dublin. It's not all work for guide dogs. Dublin also gets a chance to run around and play when he's not working. It's hot in Arizona, so Dublin wears booties in the summer to keep the pads of his feet from burning. He sure is a good boy while Liz puts on those booties. It was about 100 degrees in Arizona that day, so Dublin was definitely making good use of those little booties. Liz and Lance took us out to lunch, and we got a chance to see Dublin do a little bit of guide dog work. Dublin maneuvered Liz between the two parked cars, and notice how he stops at the curb so Liz doesn't trip. He gives her a chance to find the curb with her foot before moving forward. Pretty darn cool! After lunch, I got to hang out with Dublin a little bit more before we had to head out. I sure can tell Dublin is enjoying his new family and his life as a working guide dog, but it's still always hard to say goodbye. We started this journey over three years ago, and we're so proud of all Dublin has accomplished. When people ask me how you can give up your puppy, I tell them about Dublin and other working guide dogs and how they are able to bring independence back to a person's life. Thanks everyone for joining us on Dublin's journey to become a guide dog. And guess what? Look who just joined our household. It's Adele, our latest puppy in training. Stay tuned for more episodes of Puppy in Training TV. Be sure and follow Adele's journey to become a service dog at puppyandtraining.com. If you'd like to sponsor an episode of Puppy and Training TV, visit puppyandtraining.com.